Hello friends and welcome to jwreasoning.com. I wanted to take time to do this video and point out something that they have for the midweek meeting. This is the first week of June in 2021 and here's what it says for the midweek meeting. There's a part under the section apply yourself to the field ministry that says begin with a sample conversation and give the householder a meeting invitation and introduce the video at the meeting, what happens at a kingdom hall. So I thought we would just take a look at the video itself and see what they say happens at the kingdom hall. Now, I want to tell you, let me warn you up front, I'm having a little fun here. I hope I don't offend anyone, but let's just let the video speak for itself and see if you think I'm exaggerating, see if you think the organization is exaggerating, who is telling the truth. I think within the video and the edits, you'll be able to figure it out. Have a look. All around the world, people come together every week at places of worship called Kingdom Halls. Have you ever wondered what happens inside a Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses? It's a place where Bible study programs and lectures are held each week. The first time I attended a meeting, I felt very happy. The atmosphere was so good. I've never seen anything like it anywhere else. The people are loving, orderly, and show an interest in people. Every meeting is open to the public. Seats are free and no collections are ever taken. I would like to address the valuable things that may have first come to mind. Material possessions or financial giving and support. Of course, there are many other ways to contribute, as explained usually in the November issue of the Watchtower each year. We would like to let you know something about our current situation. Then, you can respond as your heart impels you. In doing the math, we found that the amount of money flowing out will be much greater than the amount of money that we have coming in at this time. You can go into any kingdom hall and receive the same program of Bible instruction. await you at Christian Meetings of Jehovah's Witnesses. To find a Kingdom Hall near you, please visit the About Us section and fill in the Congregation Meeting search. So who's telling the truth? What really happens at a congregation meeting today? What takes place? What's going on at the Kingdom Hall if you go by the Kingdom Hall on any given meeting day? Of course, we know that all of their meetings are done via Zoom. Now, this perplexes me because in the community that I live in, all of the churches are back in force. All of them are back to church. They're going to their meetings. They're congregating together. They're having outings. They're having picnics. They're out on the street. People are actually going out in ministry publicly in the town that I live in, but Jehovah's Witnesses are not. What's going on? What's up with this organization? What are they not telling us? Well, there's something that they're not telling us. And one of the things I will do, let me show you this slide, 
Many of you are probably not aware that this took place the week before I'm doing this video. Now I'm doing this video in the first week of June 2021 and this took place last week, what you're seeing here. So fortunately there were some of our brothers and sisters who were gracious enough to help me with this video. I would not be able to do it without them. I want to thank them for what they've done here. So let's first listen to an anonymous caller who calls the Watchtower organization in New York to find out what's going on. Is this true? Now some have told me that this was a hoax. Some told me it was real. So we sent people out on the street to find out is this really true? Did it happen or not? So here's a call to the Watchtower. Hello, service department. Oh, hello. Um, I just had a question. Um, I heard that um, I could, they were giving out vaccines at some Jehovah Witness churches. Um, is that true? Um, what city do you live in? Um, I'm in, I'm in California. Okay, southern or northern? Southern. Hold on one second. Okay. Hello, my sister, this brother will assist you. Okay, thanks. Hello, service department. Oh, hi. Yeah, the service department. Hi, I just had called to ask a question. Um, I had heard that there were um, vaccines being given out at some Jehovah Witness churches, and I just wanted to find out if that was true. Well, the, the uh, Kingdom Hall is a location center by the government with the government administering vaccines. Oh. local community oh okay is that happening all over or is that because i heard of one being in, in california that was happening is that all like all over or uh, there's, there? one, there's one in riverside the oh. local community the government reached out to the uh, congregation and, and uh, it's being allowed at the kingdom hall oh okay is that but it's not sponsored by the local witnesses it's being sponsored by the local government and the health officials there oh okay um, is that is that just the only one, or is there other ones that are going on? That's that's one location I know of. I haven't heard of many others. I mean, generally they have them at schools or yeah. stadiums or other places. Oh. Are you a witness of Jehovah yourself, or no? Um, I was raised around the truth, yeah. But I I just wanted yeah. to find out if there was others, so like I could tell you know people that I know in other areas they could go. But okay. Well, that's yeah, good to know. I appreciate your help. Yeah. yeah, it's a personal matter, medically wise, and, and just basically the government asked local location and it was granted. Hope that helps. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Right, bye -bye. Well, you heard the call. So next, let's take a look at a scene, and the video is not the greatest, but that's okay, you'll get the picture. Let's see what's happening on location in Riverside County, there in California. Let's see what took place. <laughs> Tomorrow there's walking. There's a walking oh, today. Oh, okay. Yeah, so All right. Get it done today. All right. Let me think about it. Now there's uh, no line. Yeah, no line. You're perfect timing. Okay. Let me think about that. I I'm not sure if I can. Is it pretty fast or? Yeah. Take a yeah. Look. The longest time you'll be just waiting 20 minutes just so that they can watch. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Now that's all of the video footage that we have on this particular site, but I want you to hear this next conversation. I'm sorry if it's not very clear sometimes. I tried to put the subtitles in so that you could understand what was being said, but we have a man on the street going up to one of the brothers and just asking about what's going on. Let's hear the actual conversation. How's it going? How are you? Good. Come for a walk up? I just, yeah, I just wanted to check it out. Okay. I, I didn't believe it would be true. Sure. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, I'm on the coast. Okay. I'm just going to look at you. Check it out. 
Is this the uh, local church thing to put it together? Or? It's actually the county of okay. Riverside. Uh -huh. And they're just using, um, we agreed to let them use our parking lot. So they'll be here again tomorrow. Okay. And they'll take walk for second doses? Or? No, no, uh, uh, initial. Okay. If you come tomorrow, you're going to get a walk on the new life. It's, it's open to the public, not just to Joe Clinton, but anyone here or far who wants to get vaccinated. How, how are the um, people, are, you find a lot of people are jumping, uh, getting on board, and they, uh, they want it, or that the church is promoting it, that they want it that way? But I know a lot of people on the fence about this. Thing. I think what's happening is people on the fence are uh, finding it to be a convenient location, yeah, yeah. and it's close to there. You know, if you want to go to it's a familiar place. If you're in the community here and you're not, you, you know about this place, and so it seems to be that's how we're getting uh, people came today, yeah. Are, do you go here to this church? No, I'm going to Joe's with that. I don't go to this one, no. Did you, did you hear about our um, social media? Yeah, one of my friends. One of my oh. friends is a witness. And what did you do? He said, look, check this out. I said, are you going to get it? Because he's pretty much an anti of this one. So I'm like, yeah, he approves it. Yeah. And I was like, get out. If the church is sponsoring it, that's, like pretty, that's a big deal. Well, it's, it's actually not sponsored as much as we're just making uh, the facility available. So it, it's still, it's still. So they reach out to you then? It's, it's been a, a partnership with us and them, yeah. And so uh, they're trying, they're trying really hard to get um, this group that's kind of on the fence to the thing. Uh, and uh, and so we have to see that in an area where there's a lot of uh, a lower rate, one meter step. Uh, well, actually, our role at Charles Whitney here is quite minimal. Of we we uh, give up the allow them to be part of So they, they really ran the whole show. There's just three of us here just kind of help with with the people coming and going and uh, the familiar face. And, uh, but they did an excellent job. They, uh, they've they been doing this mobile that we've been here in February. Are you going to get it? I already have. Oh, really? How do you feel? Fine. Fine. No, uh, I, no, I, uh, you know, like a lot of people I grew up prepared to meet a doctor, I didn't get any shots since I was a kid, you know, so oh, yeah, yeah. a vaccine's no big deal for me. It's like uh, I took a flu shot at my office every year, you know, getting the vaccine is nothing for me. So once I could, I got the Moderna. Second shot, I had a, a day that I, I felt a chill, so oh, no. that was it, yeah, it was pretty minimal. So yeah, a vaccine is, you know, for, for me, for David, his family, it's, uh, it's what we do. We just have to be a different one. You know. Do you think they'll do um, more events like this in other uh, halls? Uh, there, there's, there are no plans at the time. Uh, this was uh, the first time. It's gone very, very well. So we'll test it on me. Perhaps, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I got mine at the CDS school, but I go there for you know, other things. Yeah. But different people feel, like I, I, I'm from LA. A lot of my friends went to get it at the Stadium. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they're Dodger fans. And they're, see, that's where I have memory, and that's familiar to them. Yeah, yeah. I have friends who say, I wouldn't go anywhere other than Dodgers Stadium because, you know, I love the Dodgers. You know, it's, it's, it's the sentimental value. Sentimental value where you're comfortable. <laughs> yeah. For me, you know, I prescriptions, that's always been just part of my life with my loved ones. So going to see a CBS and the same as going to a, a Walmart or whatever. So perhaps there might be an element of people who are Jones who want to get it here. Or, you know, people in the community came and did walk-ups today. So maybe if you live two blocks away and you, you know the people who come here normally are really nice, yeah, I'm going to go there. I don't want to go to a Walmart or there's a lot of other people, but we said that there was a come from the public here. So it's the county. This isn't like anything related to the community. Oh, no, it's the county, yeah. Okay. It's the county. It's, it's the uh, county of Riverside. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, I think they're in partnership with the people over there. But um, it's, uh, it's their show, and uh, they, they've been incredibly, incredibly used to work with it. And the offer is up to nice. I've heard, of the, I've heard about these um, non-profit religious organizations called 50123. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. And that there is like a partnership with FEMA and church leadership to get certain things done that the government itself didn't do. So I just, just kind of raised my eyebrows that maybe this is one of those events. I know there's a, uh, they wanted to do one at a facility close by here. Uh, 
most of the freeway in. Most of the freeway, yeah. So this, this seems to be a, a nice spot, and uh, it just seems to work out, you know? Now, I realize that this whole topic about vaccination is completely controversial. I believe it's a conscience matter. I don't care if you choose to get vaccinated or not. It's a personal, private decision. It makes no difference to me what your choice is. I think every individual has opinions on it. They feel a certain way. Some have very strong opinions. Usually, most people have pretty strong opinions. Some don't care. The organization seems to indicate that well, it's your choice. Is it really your choice? Does there seem to be an agenda? You need to decide. Take a look at this video by Mark Sanderson, the most recent Governing Body video. What is our view on vaccination? Jehovah's Witnesses are not against vaccination. We view it as a personal decision for each Christian to make. Already, in cooperation with public health officials, many in our Bethel families have chosen to be vaccinated. So you notice he said, in cooperation with public officials, uh, some of the Bethelites, there were Bethelites who got vaccinated. So to me, when I look at these things, I have to ask the question, is this an endorsement? When they have these people in their parking lots giving the vaccine, is this an endorsement? Are they being neutral in all things? Are they staying neutral? When is the last time the organization reached out to the community to help the community, those who weren't Jehovah's Witnesses? What is going on? What is the agenda? I've never known the organization to do anything like Jesus. Jesus was selfless. The organization is selfish. The organization is self-serving. Jesus came to this earth, to this world, to serve others, to die for you and I and anybody, anyone who would accept him. The organization doesn't accept anyone who accepts them. They accept only those who embrace everything that they stand for. So my question is, what is on the agenda for the organization? Why are they not meeting in their kingdom halls when other churches are? Why are they not out in the door-to-door -door ministry? What have they done? Are they making an alliance with the government to be able to say, hey, look guys, we're complying. So give us a break on some of these things. Is there a reason for that? I don't know. You have to decide. But if you look at the track record of the organization, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like they're doing this from a Christian perspective. Would, could you see the organization setting up a uh, drive to raise money for the American Cancer Society? Or to raise money for breast cancer? Or to raise money for the American Heart Association? And heaven forbid, we know they would never do a blood drive for the American Red Cross or anything like that. That would never happen. Why are they doing this? There seems to be something on the agenda. You have to be the decider of that. You have to decide for yourself. I wanted to do this video just to point out the fact that the organization's not being transparent. They never are. They're always hiding behind something. And you know, with Jehovah, all things are openly exposed. And these men that are running this organization are going to be judged based on the things that they're doing. He's going to judge them even on the secret things of their heart according to Ecclesiastes. Once again, I do want to thank very much. I want to thank those who helped me with this. It was a lot of work compiling all of this information, getting everything coordinated. I'm sorry it was a little later than I wanted it to be, but I really am grateful for all of the viewers and for those of you who have helped me with this particular video. So I want you friends to remember that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through Him. It's not through an organization. It's not through a group of men. It's not through a denomination. It's through Christ. That's how you get to the Father. Please, friends, keep studying your Bibles. Look at these articles. Look at the things that they're publishing. Look at their videos with a critical eye. You don't have to be overly critical. Just think about the words they're using. And I hope you continue to study your Bible. And may Jehovah bless you until we meet again.